What's up guys, hello and welcome to another car fix video from Carfix, where I do what I love and I love what I do. Now today's video is going to be about code C1979 designation 00. Uh, this code is on uh, 2018 F-150 uh, with a 2.7 a V6 engine. Uh, this, is, this engine is actually tur twin turbo. So uh, the, uh, the code is for, uh, for the, the front locking hubs or the IWE uh, or integrated wheel end. Uh, uh, malfunction. Now the designation for the code is zero zero. This means it does not have any uh, electrical issues. It has uh, probably a mechanical issues. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the, the vacuum tank, and this is the one-way check valve. This is the uh, IWE uh, vacuum solenoid. And you got some hoses. This is the the hose that goes down to the uh, both front hubs, and this is the supply vacuum hoses coming from the uh, from the engine. I've already checked all this stuff. This is good. The tank is good. The solenoid is okay. So the issue has to be uh, down where uh, you know by the uh, either the left side or the right side. The, uh, this is the right side, and those are the uh, uh, this is the uh, main vacuum supply from the uh, from the solenoid. And this thin hose right here is the vent hose. Uh, in a two-wheel drive uh, mode, the um, uh, the uh, the TCCM or the transfer case control module um, activates the uh, vacuum solenoid and uh, applies uh, engine vacuum to, uh, to the hub right here uh, and uh, overcomes the, uh, the spring inside the, uh, the hub itself right here. So now the, the engine is off, uh, no vacuum, no engine vacuum and the hub is locked right there. See? So once you start the engine up, uh, the TCCM will apply vacuum uh, to the uh, hub and overcome the spring inside the, uh, the locking hub itself and releases the, uh, the CV axle right here. Now, I've already tested the, uh, the vacuum supply here with the vacuum gauge and it's working correctly. And uh, I also tested it with the uh, with a vacuum pump uh, without the vacuum hose being on it. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, the hub is working correctly. So when I apply vacuum to it, it disengages. When I release the vacuum, it engages. Uh, unlike the left side, Now, now this is the left side right here. As you can see, I'm spinning the wheel, but the hub is not locked. It should be locked because it has a loaded spring inside, just like the right side. Now, those are the vacuum hoses right here. I do have vacuum going to it, but nothing is happening. So there's an issue inside this locking hub right here. So uh, in order to change that, uh, the steer knuckle has to be removed. This this whole steer knuckle has to be removed. Uh, the axle to change that uh, locking hub right there. All right, now we got the wheel off, and um, basically to remove the steering knuckle, you gotta disconnect the, the steering linkage. Uh, you know, upper and lower ball joint. Uh, you have to remove the uh, brake caliper right here. Uh, ABS sensor wiring right here. Basically, I'm gonna have to move the entire steering knuckle out of the way. And also this plug right here has to be removed. All right, now I got my ABS sensor disconnected right here. I wrapped it up with the zip ties just in case I don't want to damage it. The auto tie rod right here, and it's tied up. Red caliper. Don't let it hang on the hose. You need to hang it with some kind of a hanger right here. And um, uh, this brake rotor right here is stuck to the hub, so I'm not gonna mess around with it. And there's a nut right here with this cap right here. I got the upper ball joint disconnected. And if you can see it, the lower ball joint right there. The lower ball joint disconnected right here too. So now, now I'm ready to pull the uh, seeing knuckle out. All right, now I got uh, the steering knuckle out. This is the, uh, the IWE, which is the lock and hub for the four-wheel drive on the left side. Uh, now, as you can see, I already got it apart. And uh, right out of the gate, I mean, you can tell uh, it's busted. Uh, this is the new one right here. This this right here, this ring's supposed to spin free, and this right here should lock with the, uh, uh, with the sprocket on the CV axle. But this one, the old one, Sprocket is actually stuck down here. 
separate it right there. Yeah. So that's that's junk that has to be replaced. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the uh, the CV axle right here. It's got splines on it, and this is the uh, this is the back of the uh, the broken part off of the uh, IWE. Uh, this is supposed to be connected to the IWE. Uh, it has a loaded spring on it. All right, this is all right. This is the new hub right here. Uh, you got gear splines down there, and you have the uh, the splines for the uh, IWE right there. And uh, it's got a loaded spring, and it's always engaged. Now that that those uh, the sprocket on the CV axle I showed you goes right here, so uh, it's always in a mesh with the with the uh, with the wheel hub uh, with no vacuum. But when you apply vacuum to it, it's so my vacuum pump right there. What happens is it's gonna pull it up. You see, pull it up. Now this is gonna disengage this sprocket. This bracket right here is going to slide on the uh, CV axle bracket, disengaging uh, the uh, uh, this bracket from the uh, uh, hub bearing sprocket right there. So uh, in two-wheel drive mode, uh, there's always the engine vacuum going to this hub, and it's always disengaged. Now, when I release my my vacuum, watch what happens. It goes down. When it goes down. It engages the uh, the wheel hub sprocket and the uh, CV axle uh, sprocket. That's in uh, four wheel drive mode, high and low. All right, now all I have to do is just uh, torque everything down and uh, install the steering knuckle back on the vehicle. And also, uh, all these uh, bolts right here uh, for the uh, bracket for the uh, brake caliber, they have to be replaced. Also, the ball joints, upper, lower, and outer tie rod. You have to replace them. You cannot reuse them, and they have to come from the dealer. All right. Before I uh, go any further, I have the uh, steering knuckle partially installed. I have the hub, the axle, nut right here. It's not torqued yet, but anyways, I have my vacuum gauge, right, vacuum pump right there. Now, if I spin the brake rotor, you can see the axle is spinning with it. Now I, I have my vacuum pump hooked up to this. And I'm gonna apply some vacuum to it and see what happens. It should disengage. There we go. See? Now it's spinning free. Now if I bleed the, the vacuum, it locks again. So so far, so good. Alright guys, all I have to do now is just put the uh, the wheel back on and uh, test drive it. Um, and this is the uh, this will be the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, from now until the next car fix video, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.